Success, money, independence, freedom. You want it. You dream about it. But the reality is most of you will never succeed in it. Move over, Tony Robbins. I am your new guru, Professor Mark Simmons, and welcome to Essentials of Entrepreneurship. Over the coming weeks, I will teach you a set of fundamental rules you must follow if you wish to succeed in starting your own business. Rule number one, take yourself seriously by being on time. Tardiness isn't a good look, is it? Your name? I'm Sheila, sir. I am so, so sorry. I had to stay late at work, and then when I got home, the kids were trying to start a fire in the living room. Rule number two, if you are late, don't bore us with your excuses, okay? Or at least bring your professor an ice cap with extra whipped cream, right? <laughs> uh, okay. <gasps> okay, now, if you're done wasting our time, Sheila, we have people here who wish to swim in my fountain of knowledge. It must be a shallow depth of knowledge if it's a fountain. Natalie, is it? Natalie. I'm surprised to see you back here after you've already failed my course hmm, twice now. I will pass this time. Oh. And I will have a date with Scarlett Johansson after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Good evening, madam. Are you sure you're in the right place? I hope so. Is this the essentials of entrepreneurship? <laughs> oh, yeah, this, yeah, but this, this course is for beginners. Are you sure you're not looking for advanced entrepreneurship? That's the room next door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bad, professor. <laughs> Cynthia Bateman. Oh, Mark Simmons. R professor Mark. Simmons, and we are lucky to have you in our class. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Did you see that, everyone? How Cynthia approached me with confidence. That is the winning attitude and initiative that you need if you wish to succeed in business. The Sheilas and the Natalis of the world need to take note and follow the lead of the Cynthias of the world if they wish to succeed in entrepreneurship. So he seriously failed you twice? Did he even explain why? Our big project is a proposal, and he says he grades it by trusting his gut. Last time he said something about it being too late for me, and if I was gonna succeed, it would have happened for me by now. Oh, what? But isn't that the whole point about adult learning? The fact that it's never too late for a new start? Yeah. How this man is allowed to teach is beyond me. But I have no choice. This class is a prerequisite to the certificate program and I have to pass it. Ugh, three times? My husband's already doing double shifts at work and my friend Andrea is doing me a huge favor by babysitting the kids. What's the point if I'm gonna end up failing anyway? Oh, Sheila, Natalie. Natalie. If I may impart a bit of wisdom, mingle with other classmates. You know what they say about success rubbing off. Well, the same is true of failure. Term proposals were uh, riveting, to say the least. <laughs> no, uh, some of you have potential, while others, well, others should have listened to my expertise. No, 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 no. I worked on this proposal for weeks, Professor Simmons. An F? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I go with my gut, Sheila, and your proposal made my tummy ache. You can't do this. I just did. Oh, Natalie. Okay, everyone, everyone. Natalie. For the third time, you have tried to wow me and... Wow! 
<laughs> For the third time, you failed. There's no way that both of us got an F. We'll fight this. Oh my goodness! Professor Simons, I've never gotten an A plus before, what? like ever. No, I cannot be the first person to notice your brilliance. Oh, thank you. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Cynthia, do you mind if I ask what your A-plus idea was? Of course. Ever have one of those days where you go through your entire walk-in closet, but you just can't find the right ensemble? Well, see, I don't have that problem. It dawned on me that I can help people who don't know how to dress so good. So fashion advice. Exactly. That's it? Yeah. I call it Cynthia's Closet. Hmm. <laughs> There's no budget. No timeline. And your vision board section is just a bunch of pictures of you. I know. Don't you love it? And it's handwritten. Well, yeah, for a little razzle dazzle of Cynthia. What's wrong? Oh, I got an F. Did you add a vision board? My therapist says it helps you attract exactly what you want and deserve. It's so much. No, I do not have a vision board, Cynthia. But um, I did have a legit five-year business plan, not to mention a fully operating budget. Uh, you don't even have a plan for how people can pay you. Oh, dang. I should have that, right? Yeah, getting paid is all part of a business. You know, you're good at this. You should have at least gotten a D. A D? <laughs> that this idea can work. It's for a housekeeping service in Riverside, which helps working class women in precarious living situations find and secure employment. Sheila has over 15 years experience in the industry and has done the market research. It really, really is a good idea. Thanks. Oh, maybe Professor Simmons meant to do an A. Forgot to put the line on there. I had a feeling I'd be hearing your sob story, listening to you. You think like you could just flex your position of power and fail anyone on a whim? For what? Because you can? You think that makes you feel big? I put my heart into this, okay? This is my future, and I'm gonna fight for it, even if that means fighting against people like you. Today is the 23rd of November 2023, and Gaza is still under the fight. Has a woman ever lied to you? Played games with you, burned you, cheated on you. <sighs> well, frankly, I have students come to me from time to time asking to get their grades changed. Generally, we don't give any more than an increments difference out of respect for our instructors. But this, this, this is different. Both of these proposals are exemplary. They both show completely valid and profitable business plans. There is absolutely no reason they should receive a failing grade. Thank you. So does this mean you'll overrule Professor Simmons in this matter? We just have to pass this course so we can move on with our businesses. Uh, well, I'll do you better than that. You've heard of our accelerator program for women in entrepreneurship over the age of 35? No. That exists? You're kidding me. Mark never brought this up? No, no, definitely not, or else we would have applied to it. <sighs> you know, Mark has had a few business plans of his own, and let's say he's never hit a home run. Maybe that's why he can't see greatness when it's in front of him. On behalf of the school, I apologize for this entire situation. We'll be getting you into that accelerator program immediately. <laughs> it is the least I can do. And now, to Professor Simmons. Dean Erickson! Oh, Mark. <laughs> you read my book yet? Yes, it's better than counting sheep, but put me right to sleep. You're welcome, sleep, the place where dreams are made. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Listen, you're not here to talk to me about those two failures, are you? No, listen, lost causes and lost souls, if you ask me. I know I'm their teacher, but what they need is a therapist, and Mark. I can only help them so much. Enough! 
in my office now. Hmm. Looks like somebody may not be entrepreneur material after all. <laughs>